ever wonder how bridges are built over water? Stick around and we will discuss that in this video. The Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, the Tower Bridge in London, and the San Juanico Bridge which is the longest in the Philippines are just some of the physical manifestations of the beauty of these structures with their strong foundation. But how are such structures able to stand and have a strong foundation underwater? The complexity of building a bridge mainly depends on the depth of the water. The shallower means the construction is relatively simple, but if the water is deep, then the construction becomes more challenging and different methods of engineering are then required. Hi, this is Marco. I'm an intern at Premium Megastructures Inc. As a research assistant, did you know there are three main methods that engineers use to build a bridge? The first method is the battered piles. This is the most common method used in underwater piling. Buttered piles are piles usually made from concrete or steel driven into the bottom of the bedrock until it becomes inclined or buttered to be firm and support the foundation of lateral structures. The San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge is built on a foundation design including the use of buttered and vertical piles. The second is coffer dumps. Coffer dumps are made to create a dry workplace underwater. To do this, sheet piles are driven to form an enclosure in which several water pumps are used. When the water is pumped out, then the construction of piers for the bridges can be started. When the construction is done, the piles are removed and the water is pumped back inside the coffer dumps. The construction of the Portland Milwaukee Light Railway Bridge in Oregon utilizes the use of coffer dams to create a platform for the footings of the bridge's tower. The third is caissons. Caissons is another method of building bridges. There are two types of caissons, open and pneumatic. The open caissons are shaped like a box with open bottom and top. These are sunk into the water until it reaches the correct depth and then concrete is laid to seal the bottom. Pneumatic caisson is also similar to an open caisson, but it has an airtight bulkhead above the bottom edge. The Brooklyn Bridge is known for its construction using wooden caissons. It descends more than 100 feet into the water by way of an underwater caisson. These are just some of the bridge building methods that are an amazing feat of today's engineering and technology. Now that you know a little bit of how bridges are built, you can admire them more when you are passing them by. Here in Premium Mega Structures Inc., as a quadruple A general contractor, we have built a number of bridges nationwide. 